It's the NBA brought to you by 2K Sports on this very special Easter Sunday. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Minnesota Timberwolves going up against the Chicago Bulls. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. Vucevic is out there with Draymond Green. And it's Clutch. And it's Alex Caruso. And it's DeRozan in at the small forward. And for the Timberwolves, Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. Nas Reed out there with Towns. And it's Alexander Walker in at the three spot. Well, Greg, both of these teams love to push the pace. Think we're in for a high-speed game? That's a safe assumption, yeah. I mean, but that'll also make this a serious test of stamina. It'll be hard for them to outrun each other all night long. And it's going to be the Bulls right off the tip. Here's Clutch, covered by Conley. Clutch the pass to Green. From outside the arc, it's good from long range. And great offensive instincts from Green. Goes into the shot the moment he catches the ball. Here is Conley. Not, uh, not too proud of his numbers in that game against the Nuggets. That's for sure. Here's Clutch. it to Caruso. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Outside Conley. Towns, the pass to Alexander Walker. Back to Towns from downtown. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Bulls moving the ball around. Pass to DeRozan. The three. Knocks down the three ball. Well, DeRozan not really comfortable beyond the arc, so he really knew this was his shot. Edwards against Caruso. Edwards. Oh, oh the pipe on him. Show us what you got, young fella. Anthony Edwards. Love to see you operate like that. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. And Clark, what can you say about Anthony Edwards? Living up to that first overall height, he has been spectacular. Yeah, he has been, Kevin. I agree. Some were surprised he went first overall, but you look back at that draft, he was as good a number one pick as any of them, and he's certainly proven to be worthy of that status. Wide open look here for Vucevic. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Conley, the pass to Edwards. Back to Conley. Now the pass to Alexander Walker. Misses the three. The Bulls leading by four. Clutch, 43 points out last game, and that one is good. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. Here's Conley. Connects on the nine-footer. And the mechanics of Conley's shot are rock solid, allowing him to take a shot with no hesitation. 
There's Clutch. He's just been too hard to handle at the offensive end. His scoring average is just under 34 points a game. Timberwolves have gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. Conley kicks to Edwards. From 13, bank shot, no good. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Timberwolves trail by four. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Conley the pass to Towns. Out to Edwards. A three. And Vucevic pulls it down. Vucevic has got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Clutch. Puts the fade away right on the money. Clutch has got his second bucket of the game to go. He's looking confident right from the opening tip. Edwards looking it over. From the arc, Edwards with another miss. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Vucevic is screen on cup. Oh, Vucevic in position. Towns with the steal. Outside Conley. Kicks to Towns. Pass to Edwards. Conley with it. Lock at six. From eight. And that's good. Number two. Conley's got his second basket of the night. Fantastic at capitalizing from those spots. Conley has a dynamite looking jump shot. Green with a screen on cup. With the fadeaway. Another one falls for Chicago. And now you can see the D having problems stopping the mid-range jumper. Just not really closing out as much as they need to. Now here is Conley. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Near the three-point line, it's Edwards, and he gets the jumper to drop. Man, he's a pure point guard with terrific vision. Conley finds open teammates at times before they realize they're open. There's Clutch. He has six. Driving inside. And there's the second dunk to finish it off. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. And he rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Yeah, they're not backing off at all, are they? Here's Conley. After two consecutive first-round exits, Greg, the Timberwolves are looking to take that next step. And with Anthony Edwards at the helm, I think they will soon. But you have to remember, he is only 22 years old. And when your star is that young, you typically have to endure some growing pains before breaking through. Now, here's Green, following the miss by Michael Conley. Clutch can't hit. Now here's Conley, not a lot of room. Here's Alexander Walker, Towns for three, rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Vucevic has screen on cup. Clutch the pass to Caruso. And a miss there on the triple. So for the Bulls, their last game, a win against the Nets in Brooklyn. And you've got to love a team that can maintain its composure on the road. Take good shots and knock them down with confidence. Well, efficiency is critical. And I love how they ran their offense and got quality shots out of their sets. Out to Conley. Lock it two. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. Here's Clutch. Eight points for him. Here's Vucevic. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. 
Boy, established his position with a strong base. You got to box out Vucevic better than that. Minnesota calls timeout. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Mars is checked in. Anderson comes in for Alexander Walker. Monte Morris is checked in for Edwards. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for Mike Conley. Chicago also making some changes. Ozumu, he's checked in for DeRozan. For those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. White against Edwards. A shot missing. White with the defensive effort. And they've got a big lead. Connects again from distance. And folks, he just set the record for most three-pointers in a rookie campaign. Now, it hasn't been long since this record was last broken. I did not think we'd see it broken again this soon. Ever since entering the league just a few months ago, he has been on a mission to win. He's out there to ball. We've all seen it. Wouldn't surprise me, though, if he's unaware of the record. High post shot. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Here's Caruso. Another three for Chicago. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. Conley kicks to Warren. Back to Conley. Anderson outside. Shot clock at five. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. A costly foul there. He'll shoot three free throws. After missing nearly two full years due to injury, Greg, isn't it great to see T.J. Warren back out on the floor, healthy and hearty? Yeah, and, and Kevin, people forget this guy was the leading scorer for a playoff team before those injuries. He may not be the same player, but he can still provide some instant offense. And he knocks down the first one. You know, Clark, I remember you had such a strong mid-range game when you were playing. Do you think it would have been hard to stretch your game out to three like a lot of guys are doing now? You know what, Kevin? It's interesting. I was actually starting to try to add the three-point shot to my game way back in the mid-'80s as part of my development. So I don't think it's hard. It's a matter of putting the work in. And shooting is one of those skills in the game that can really be refined with good mechanics and just volume of work. Last one's off, and they'll settle for two points. Well, I'll tell you what, coaches really love reliable shooters like Warren. I mean, he's a talented guy who can really get it done from anywhere on the floor. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hi, Kevin. Well, Clutch in the last time out against the Nets was outstanding. He ended up with 43 points, and as expected, he distributed the rock and got his teammates involved. He ended up with a stat line he's no doubt proud of, and I'm sure he wants to replicate it again. Kevin? Yeah, David and stretches. He was absolutely dumb. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contribution. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. For sure, and draws so much defensive attention that it opens up opportunities for others. Out to DeRozan. Here's Caruso. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Conley against Caruso. Conley the pass to Edwards. Timberwolves passing it around. Outside Conley. Fires from deep. And it's Chicago with the rebound. 
The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Clutch. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Conley the pass to Edwards. Fires the three. Caruso grabs the miss. Chicago leading by 21. Here's Clutch. 13 points in the game. Fires the three. Drills it from outside. Caruso's got six here in this quarter. After having none in the first, he gets two three-point shots to go here. Conley with it. Knocks it loose. The 11-footer for three, Edwards. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Edwards got 14. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. Here's Clutch for by Conley. Clutch the pass to DeRozan. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Boy, what a nice touch from DeRozan. The savvy veteran makes it look so easy when he scores there. Conley left side. Back to Edwards. Pulls up on the wing. Edwards with another miss. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Here's Clutch. No good on the triple. Looking at the last game for the Timberwolves, it was a loss to the Nuggets. Painful to watch, guys. You could see their frustrations mounting, unable to get into any kind of a rhythm whatsoever. Yeah, they had no answer for them. They simply got outplayed and outworked. Fade away. Minnesota with the rebound. Towns has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. White against Conley. Towns, the pass to Warren. Here's Reed. Caruso grabs the miss. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Bulls. Out to DeRozan. Pass to Caruso. Outside DeRozan. Shoots over Reed. And the basket by DeRozan. DeRozan's got six in the quarter. Well, it takes unique skills to be able to not be bothered by defensive pressure. And DeMar DeRozan is that kind of guy because he loves taking tough shots. And he makes most of them. Chicago's gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. Minnesota's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two of six from long range. Over to the wing. Towns against DeRozan. Conley kicks to Edwards. Five to shoot. They need this one. And Clutch pulls it down. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Al Conley. It's Edwards on the wing. Edwards with another miss. Here's Clutch. Here's Caruso. And it is good at the buzzer. Resourceful move there, ending the period on a high note. Nothing like knocking down that last possession of a quarter to give you a little feel-good momentum. And so it's Chicago, having no problems at all. Up 29 points heading into the next quarter. 
from the field. They have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we'll be right back after this. Hello, everybody. Maybe a bit of a surprise in this one, but what a fantastic first half we witnessed for the Chicago Bulls. Sometimes we talk about a team imposing its will. This is what it looks like. Just the rebounding discrepancy here. Pretty shocking, Shaq. I was on a few teams, and you were on a few teams, that really did impose their wills. Crush your opponent's spirits. It's a great feeling of being on the bright side of that equation. Okay, now we've got some time to take a look at the Eastern Conference standings as the postseason comes into view. Well, right now for Chicago, they're right where they want to be, and they're right where they should be. Now it's a matter of getting everything in place for the title run. These guys will be tough to beat in a seven-game series. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Well, we hope you're enjoying your Easter as we are here as we get underway once again. And here is Conley. So for Chicago right now, clutch out there with Alex Caruso. And it's Vucevic, then it's DeRozan, and it's Green in at the four slot. Here's Caruso. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Michael Conley picks one up. Chicago shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. That one is off. And he sinks the second. Here's Conley. Dish now to Towns. Here's Alexander Walker. DeRozan defending. Shot clock at six. Alexander Walker passes. And the only thing that can slow down is three-point onslaught. Or maybe a break in play. Well, this crowd can do nothing but watch in awe, GA. He has been spectacular. Boy, how about the performance so far from deep? He's been that good. Just two to shoot. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Green inside. Guarded by Reed. And DeRozan kicks to Green. The pass to Caruso. Vucevic is screen on Edwards. Jacks up a three. And that one's good, Caruso. Caruso's got 12 in the game. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. Caruso against Edwards. Outside Conley. And the layup's good off the glass. He's got six. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is. That's a tough shot. And that one is hammered home. My goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. Boy, I'd love to get a replay on that one. Let's keep it handy so we can see it again. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Here's Clutch. He's got 15. Now here's Conley. 
guys. They're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Oh, such a feel shot there, the floater. And you know, what you love about Mike Conley, he, he's a leader by example. The epitome of a terrific point guard and teammate. True professional in every sense of the word, on and off the floor. He plays and he teaches and mentors. I could see him, if he desired, being a really good head coach someday. Hands it from downtown. On a nice little roll here to start this half, connecting on their first three attempts. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Following this one, they get to host the Rockets. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. Great look, but off the mark. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Back to Conley. A floater, and the shot goes in. Conley's got 10 points. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Again, Chicago. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. Edwards against Caruso. Edwards kicks to Towns. The 10 footer. It's deflected. Towns against Green. Green with a screen on Conley. Clutch the pass to Green. And he converts the layup. Eight points for him. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Bulls. Phenomenal work on the defensive end so far. That stands out the most. They've made it their mission to block shots and make things hard for the opposition. Another thing they're doing well tonight is getting steals, and that can be attributed to their tenacious style defensively. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Timberwolves have gone twin towers with Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert. Gobert says, I love playing with another dominant big because I've always thought that I could pass. I know that I can make guys around me better. Kat says, we complement each other. He's a generational talent on defense, and I think I'm a generational talent on offense. Kevin, I'm a generational talent on sideline report. <laughs> you are indeed, and that's why you are in Springfield. No argument here, David. Thank you. Anderson, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Kindly the pass to Towns. Anderson against DeRozan. Anderson kicks to Conley. Four on the clock. Going inside, and he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Conley's got eight here in the quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Caruso's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Bulls. Minnesota's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Edwards with it. He's got 14. It's hauled in by the Bull. Vucevic has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And the dunk by DeRozan. At 6'6", DeRozan can fly with the best of them. Conley finds Towns. Back to Conley. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. And the three ball is good. Michael Conley with excellent vision on that pass. There's Clutch. He's got 21. Vucevic is screen on Conley. Clutch the pass to Vucevic. And you look at Vucevic and his tenacity goes up the closer he is to the cup. Defenders try to match his level of physicality down there, which more times than not results in him going to the foul line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one.
and the first one at the line is good. And one of the most underrated bigs in the NBA. Vucevic quietly dominates on a consistent basis. Catching up now on the changes for Chicago. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for Green. Dosumu comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Kobe White in for Alex Caruso. For Chicago, they've got nearly everything to drop this quarter. They're 7 of 8 from the floor since halftime. Beautiful touch there. Give White these types of looks consistently, and he's going to make you pay. Edwards passes to Conley. Dishes it to Anderson. Reed with it. Vucevic on him. From 18 feet away, Reed misses. Chicago has gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. And that one drops. And a solid playmaker. White has a great sense for when he should look to give it up. Conley the pass to Edwards. The Timberwolves again can't hit. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. He takes it in. Here's Vucevic. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Vucevic has got four points this quarter. Minnesota's gone one of four and three point shots here in the third. Conley the pass to Edwards and stolen by Williams. To the paint, here's White and White with the stuff. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. Count it. Towns has got his second bucket tonight. Well, you got to respect and admire the focus of Towns. I mean, he just doesn't get rattled. He just stays with it, embraces the challenge, and keeps coming. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Some changes for Minnesota. Warren's checked in for Reed. Monte Morris comes in for Edwards. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for Mike Conley. And a change for the Bulls. Craig's checked in. White left side. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5-for-8 clip. Yeah, that was the third straight high-percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. 135 left in the third. McLaughlin, no good. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. Here's Clutch. 21 points in the game. Count it. Clutch has got 10 points in just the second half. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. You know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Towns down low. Vucevic on him. Five on the clock. A three from Warren sinks the triple. Warren's got five points so far. At the arc, Warren gets in the zone, able to shoot with total concentration and lay it right in. Clutch the pass to Vucevic. Again, Chicago. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Towns for three. No good there. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Clutch. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. That's exactly how you do it. Defender pressing up on you, you press right back. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for Chicago. Minnesota's gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Outside, Towns. Pass to McLaughlin. Takes a three. Unable to get that one. Got it off in time. 
that one's not going to go. And so it's the Chicago Bulls enjoying the kind of gigantic lead you almost never see. Their defense has been terrific in this game. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback. Check in for Jordan McLaughlin. Chicago. Chicago also making some changes. Tory Craig, he's checked in for Vucevic. And it's clutch in for Dosumu. We've got Conley. Kyle Anderson is out there with Anthony Edwards. Then there's Warren, and it's Morris in at the two-guard spot. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. A three-pointer is right on target. That gives him his second three of the half with three total for the game. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. It's Edwards on the wing. And they get it. And it's White with the rebound. White's got four rebounds in this game. Craig sets the screen for White. Craig, good. Oh, great ball movement there. White. And the NBA said expansion should wait until after the new CBA. Craig, that's done, so what new teams? I mean, Kevin, it seems like Seattle's been waiting forever. Professional teams have been crowding into Las Vegas and don't sleep on Mexico City. A lot of potential fans south of the border. And there's the whistle, the illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call it. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. Reed comes in for T.J. Warren, and it's Towns in for Monte Morris. And Anderson kicks to Conley. Passes it to Towns. Out to Conley. Just three to shoot. From outside, off the mark. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Here's Clutch, guarded by Reed. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. And guys, it's going to be a long time before we see another one just like that. Outside, Edwards. To end the clutch streak. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And now, yep, this will be a coach's challenge. We thought that might happen, triggering a review of the personal foul. Anthony Edwards, two shots. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original. The previous play is under review. Make it a lot easier to determine. Indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. 
to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They have decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking, and the game continues on. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Minnesota. And he makes the first. And with some of the new rooting interest for fans, some concern about potential hostility for the players when great things don't go their way. I mean, there's a lot riding on the outcome of games and, and stat lines. And that's something the league has to take seriously, making sure the players are protected because the emotions can run rampant. Minnesota's gone ice cold from three-point land 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Conley, the pass to Alexander Walker. Pass to Towns. Got it. Good job in the low post. Chicago's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Conley against Ball. Here's Clutch. He lobs up the alley -oop pass, stolen by Reed, and now the Timberwolves on the break. Edwards drawing the double team. No one near Conley as he lets it go. Bangs home the trifecta. Conley's got five points now in the quarter. Here's Clutch, Edwards defending. Time called here, the Bulls decide to talk it over. Ball finds White. Clark, I'm not sure there's been another era in the NBA with so many fantastic passers at every position. Yeah, you know, I think it's a function of what we saw going back into the 80s with Bird and Magic and how they shared the ball with such great passes. And you had another group of outstanding playmakers at the point guard spot and on the wings. Um, so now centers at this particular stage in the game's evolution are playmakers, excellent passers, and are players that teams can run their offense through. So I think it's just been kind of a, a natural evolution because of the skill level of all players when it comes to passing. And, you know, Ball, despite the quirkiness of the shot, he does have a quick release, so you got to know he's a threat to score whenever he has it in his hands. Edwards drawing the double team. And the shot goes in. Edwards got 20 points. Yeah, and right when you thought that shot was leaving his hands, he reinvents it. And here's White. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Reed's got his sixth rebound on the night. Conley against Ball. Outside Edwards. From about 16. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got his fifth assist in this one. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Gets the 14-footer to fall. Ball's got five points now this quarter. Boy, Ball showing us a nice little mid-range game with his height and touch. He's got great confidence. Oh, oh man. <laughs> He's put on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Well, when you know it, you got to show it. Really hard to think of things they didn't do well in this one. Certainly a dominant night on offense for Chicago. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And of course, this season for these guys has been just remarkable. Win after win, we've watched them take on the best teams in the league and dispatch them with ease. Tonight will mark win number 72.
adding to the storied season one more time. And it always feels good to get that first win in a season series. Going head-to-head -head twice this year. This will put them up 1-0 so far against Minnesota. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Clutch. An unbelievable scoring performance. He absolutely took over and never let up. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Towns, no luck. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Here's Clutch. And the Bulls tack on two more. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I tell you something, I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. Here's Towns. Got a piece of it. Here's Clutch. Off with the layup. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and...